Inside the laser weapon. Powerful lasers. Laser weapons. Uh, just like a laser pointer. It's laser weapon. It is often said that whoever controls the skies controls the war. This is especially true in the modern era, where new technologies have enabled the development of portable weapons that can strike from the air with precision and speed. However, Russia knows that there is a very efficient way to nullify these airborne threats, and so the country has been investing heavily in laser weapons that can potentially counter and destroy any aerial threat. These weapons are not only powerful, but also secretive, as Russia has revealed very little information about them. Join us as we explore how Russia's laser weapons are about to change everything in the field of warfare. The concept of laser weapons is based on the quantum phenomenon of stimulated emission, which was first proposed by Albert Einstein in 1905. Stimulated emission occurs when an atom or molecule that has been excited to a high energy state emits a photon of light and returns to a lower energy state. The emitted photon has the same frequency, phase, and direction as the incoming photon that stimulated the emission, resulting in a coherent and amplified beam of light. The first laser was developed in 1960 by Theodore Maiman, who used a ruby crystal as the active medium and a flash lamp as the pump source. His laser produced pulses of red light with a wavelength of 694 nanometers and a power output of about 10 kilowatts. Maiman's demonstration sparked a surge of interest and research in laser technology, both for scientific and military applications. Laser-based directed energy weapons have been under development for defense purposes, particularly for the destruction of incoming missiles. One such example is the Boeing Airborne Laser, constructed inside a Boeing 747 and designated as the YAL-1. This system used a chemical oxygen iodine laser with a power output of about 1 megawatt to intercept and destroy ballistic missiles in their boost phase. The YAL-1 was tested successfully in 2010, but was canceled in 2012 due to technical and budgetary issues. Another example of laser-based missile defense is the Tactical High Energy Laser, or THEL, a joint project between the United States and Israel. The THEL used a deuterium fluoride laser with a power output of about 4 megawatts to shoot down rockets and artillery shells. The Thel was tested successfully in 2000, but was discontinued in 2005 as a result of its bulkiness, high costs, and poor anticipated results on the battlefield. The United States and other countries have also tested many other weapons, but they've also struggled with a problem of overheating and scaling. However, it looks like Russia has been developing new laser weapons behind the scenes, and these weapons overcome the problems of overheating and scaling, and it certainly has motivation, especially with what's happening in Ukraine. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine stands out as the world's first large-scale drone war, highlighting how drones are reshaping the nature of warfare and presenting new challenges for both parties involved. What initially began as a traditional war, with Russian tanks crossing into Ukraine's territory, trenches reminiscent of World War I dug into the ground, and Soviet-made artillery shelling the landscape, has evolved into a more contemporary conflict. Now, soldiers are monitoring the battlefield through small satellite-linked screens, while palm-sized drones hover discreetly overhead. This modern conflict features hundreds of reconnaissance and attack drones operating in Ukrainian skies each day. The initial land grab, resembling tactics of the 18th century emperor, has transitioned into a competition for technological supremacy in the digital age, a turning point that will be noted in military history. In previous conflicts, drones were typically employed by one side in relatively uncontested airspace to locate and strike targets, such as in U.S. operations in Afghanistan and the Middle East. However, in the current struggle between Russia and Ukraine, drones play an integral role in every aspect of the battle. Both sides have extensive drone fleets, along with air defenses and jamming systems. This war is primarily fought from a distance, often spanning miles, and drones play a pivotal role in bridging that gap. 
They provide Russia and Ukraine with the capability to observe and engage each other without ever coming into close proximity. These relatively cheap drones armed with explosives can destroy multi-million dollar tanks in one strike. And this is why lasers need to be developed. The press office of Russ Electronics Holding Company, a subsidiary of the state-owned technology firm Rostec, has announced an enhancement for the LISFA mine-clearing vehicle. This upgrade involves equipping it with a more powerful microwave gun to more effectively neutralize modern mines that contain semiconductor electronics. This information was disclosed to TASS on August 17th during the Army 2023 Forum. The Research Institute of Measuring Instruments, common term Novosibirsk Plant Research and Production Association, along with the Cascade Instrument Plant, both under Russ Electronics, have conducted separate engineering assessments for improving the microwave unit of the remotely controlled LISVA mine clearing vehicle. By modernizing the microwave equipment, the emitted signal's power flux density will be boosted to approximately 10 watts per square centimeter at a range of 50 to 80 meters. The press office said this will increase the probability of critically damaging and knocking out both previously used improvised explosives and modern IEDs containing semiconductor electronic elements. Microwave weapons, also known as directed energy weapons or DEWs, have been well documented in their use in Russia. These weapons operate by concentrating electromagnetic radiation onto a specific target, converting power from a source like a military vehicle's engine into radiated energy. The primary purpose of high-powered microwaves in DEWs is to disrupt or damage machinery, especially electronics, while avoiding harm to individuals in close proximity. This is why several advanced military forces globally, including the United States and China, are increasingly investing in and employing DEWs. They offer advantages such as cost effectiveness, precision, and minimal collateral damage. The newly upgraded microwave gun is expected to excel in countering mines equipped with semiconductor components. There have been reports of Ukraine deploying rockets containing scatterable anti-tank mines that utilize magnetic influence fuses against Russian formations. In the process of upgrading and installing the microwave gun, Russ Electronics experts are exploring the possibility of transitioning to a direct drive system for the rotational support mechanism of the microwave unit. This adjustment aims to enhance the precision of the radiating antenna's positioning guided by azimuth measurements. The press office has also revealed plans to enhance the jamming station by introducing a more advanced and higher capacity unit featuring a bandwidth of up to 6,000 megahertz. Additionally, they intend to equip the LISFA remotely controlled mine clearing vehicle with an automated video surveillance system. This development arises in response to the escalating issue of improvised explosive devices and mines affecting both sides in their efforts to impede enemy advances and gain time to respond. In anticipation of a potential Ukrainian counteroffensive, Russia has strategically placed anti-tank mines and IEDs across the front lines. Multiple Russian tanks have suffered devastating blows when inadvertently triggering these mines. In some instances, these incidents became the subject of mockery on social media as videos surfaced showing Russian tanks moving in formation, repeatedly encountering the same mines at the same location in quick succession. Also, in 2018, Putin unveiled Perizvet. It's one of the six new Russian strategic weapons that Putin claimed would give Russia an edge over its adversaries. In his own words, we have achieved significant progress in laser weapons. It is not just a concept or a plan anymore. It is not even in the early production stages. Since last year, our troops have been armed with laser weapons. I do not want to reveal more details. It is not the time yet, but experts will understand that with such weaponry, Russia's defense capacity has multiplied. Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov has also reported a recent successful test where a laser was able to destroy a drone located five kilometers away, which is approximately three miles within just five seconds. 
Borisov has also made the claim that this laser technology has the capability to blind satellite reconnaissance systems of potential adversaries operating at altitudes of up to 1,500 kilometers. This could potentially disrupt the functioning of such satellites during their missions by employing laser radiation. It's worth noting that this could be a strategy to counter satellite-based systems like Starlink if other methods, such as hacking, prove ineffective. The Perisvet mobile laser system is said to be in mass production within Russia and supplied to its military forces. While there's been no concrete evidence presented to date, the availability of these systems suggests that Russian forces could potentially be using them in their conflict with Ukraine. However, this remains unconfirmed. Borisov goes on to claim that unannounced successors to the existing Perisvet system are in development and that this is a primary laser weapon, an electromagnetic wideband weapon that will replace conventional weapons in the next decade. This is not some sort of exotic idea. It is the reality. If the reports about Russia's advanced laser technology and its potential military applications are accurate, it could indeed provide them with a strategic advantage in certain aspects of modern warfare. Laser weapons have the potential to disrupt or disable various military systems, including drones, satellites, and potentially even missile defense systems. In response, other nations may indeed feel the need to accelerate their efforts in laser weapon development or other cutting-edge defense technologies to maintain a competitive edge. International efforts to regulate and monitor the use of such advanced weapons will also be essential to prevent an arms race and promote global security. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below.